Hey guys, what's up? How you all doing? I am thinking about starting a new series, uh, like a nightly series, um, because I could only start making videos like 11 o'clock at night, vampire hours. I was thinking of doing like a nightly show, kind of like, um, do you know those desk calendars you see on people's desks, like on their offices, that has like, like a daily like fact or a daily word, uh, like quote of the day or something like that? Well, I wanted to do something similar. Uh, but it'll be at night instead, so it'll be like, kind of like a recap of of things of a particular. So it'll be kind of like a recap of something particular to uh, to the night. So um, welcome to the first episode of of the night, where I'm going to present to you certain uh, miscellaneous facts, either facts. We're going to present to you the miscellaneous quotes, words, facts, uh, people, celebrities, uh, specific to this day. Uh, just going on random websites and just finding uh, certain uh, intricacies and certain ideas of the day. So the first part we have word of the night. The word of the night is conglobate. So for all you guys taking your GREs out there, the conglobate is a verb. It means to form into a ball. Conglobate. <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. Conglobate. It does not sound like what it should mean, but it is the active form of curling into a ball. Next we have the quote of the night. So the quote of the night is from this guy named Herbert H. Humphrey, Triple H as I like to call him. Uh, I don't know who he is, so if anyone knows who he is, can you please tell me? He quotes, the right to be heard does not automatically include the right to be taken seriously. Kind of sounds like Sarah Palin or Hillary Clinton. That actually sounds like any other politician out there. Even sound, it even sounds like me. Wait. But please, take me seriously. Hi. I mean it. Next we have Celebrity of the Night. The Celebrity of the Night is Cord Overstreet. Uh, you guys may be familiar with Cord Overstreet with his breathtaking, I mean deserving performance as Sam on Glee. He what ended up was there for season two as Trouty Mouth, this guy that had, he had a huge mouth for some reason, like a big face. Uh, famous for uh, doing his renditions of uh, Justin Bieber songs. Baby, 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 oh yeah, baby, 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 no! I just totally did a huge disservice to myself and Canada. I'm so ashamed. Well, well, anyway, enough of has-beens. Let's go on to Facts of the Night. Early draft of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones carried brass knuckles instead of a bullwhip. Now, can you just imagine, like, Indiana Jones without, like, the signature, like, fedora in the bull in the bullwhip? Instead, he's just using brass knuckles, getting, like, personal. God! Personally, I always wanted to learn how to use a whip. Just to be like, Ksha! I mean, like, not, not in the Rihanna kind of, not in the Rihanna type of way, but, you know, just to be like, total badass, and just be like, Ksha! I don't know, the crack of it, just like, Ksha! I don't know, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, couple people who are legendary with bullwhips, right? Like, who who else besides Indiana Jones? Catwoman. Ksh, meow. Ksh. Well, thank you guys for watching the first episode of, of the night. Um, hope to catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, I would love feedback on uh, what you guys think of the show, uh, suggestions of what other facts I should go over, or what other areas I should cover. But um, any suggestions is completely... Uh, welcomed and and I'm willing to hear them but thank you guys for your time have a good night